Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now going to answer question number eight from the June 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1 paper. And this question here we have a question about the equation of a tangent to the curve that we have to find. All right, so the equation of the tangent is what we have to find. The curve is y equals a quarter x cubed minus 8x to the power of negative a half. We're going to find the equation of the tangent at the point P, which is given, and the answer should be in the form AX plus BY plus C equals zero, where A, B, and C are integers. So if you want to find the equation of the tangent to a curve, say this is the curve, okay, say this is the point P. I don't know exactly how it, the curve looks at that point, but I'm just going to draw something random here. The tangent would be a straight line, which touches the curve at that point, and it has the same gradient of the curve at that point. So this would be the point P, this would be the tangent, and that's what we've got to find the gradient of that line. So we need to find the equation of this tangent. So the equation of tangent. Tangent is a straight line. A straight line, to find its equation, we need two things. We need to have the gradient. We need the gradient of the, 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 the tangent. And we need to have the point on the line, which we have, because the tangent goes through the point P. Okay, we know the P has the point has the coordinates 412. So what we need really now is to find the, the gradient of this line. Now the gradient of the line and the gradient of the curve at the point P is the same. Okay, because the tangent has the same gradient of the curve at the point, uh, which is the tangent to the curve. So we need to find the gradient of the curve at P. Okay, and the gradient function is found by finding the differential of the original function. So we need to differentiate this. So we need to find what dy dx is. Now dy dx is found. Now this is all ready for us to differentiate. We don't have to do anything to prepare it because everything is in index form. The x terms are on the numerator. So I can just multiply the power by the coefficient. So 3 times a quarter, which is 3 quarters x to the power of 2. And then minus a half times minus 8. So you're going to multiply them. That gives you positive 4 x to the power of, take one from the power, that's negative 3 over 2. Okay, that's what dy dx is. Now, as I'm going to substitute values in here, I'm going to write dy dx um, for that second term in a bit more of a friendly way. So I'll write this as plus 4 over, and I'm going to write this as x to the power of 3 over 2, which is the same thing as saying dy dx equals 3 quarters x squared plus 4 over now this is a to the power of m over n, which it means basically the nth root of a to the power of m. So we're going to have the square root of x cubed. That's what this means, the square root of x cubed. So when it's written in that form, it's a bit easier for me to substitute values in. So if I take p as 412, I know that x equals 4 at this point. So I know that the gradient of the tangent is going to be given by me using the gradient function and substituting 4 in its place instead of x. So 3 quarters times 4 squared plus 4 over the square root of 4 cubed. Okay, so that's going to give me um, one of those 4s will cancel. So it's 3 4 times 4 is 12 plus 4 over the square root of 4 is 2. 2 cubed is 8, so it's 4 over 8. So therefore we're going to have the gradient of the tangent is 12 plus a half, which is 25 over 2. Because this is going to give you a half, right? It's going to give you a half, 4 over 8. So it's 12 and a half, which is 25 over 2. That's the gradient of the tangent. So now we need to find the um, equation of the line. So we know the gradient of the tangent is 25 over 2. And we know that it goes to the point P, 4, 12. So we can say Y minus Y1 equals M times x minus x1. I always like to use this formula. I find it much easier to deal with. So y minus 12 equals m, which is 25 over 2, times x minus 4. Now, I want to write it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So I want to get rid of the fractions. We can do that at this stage by multiplying both sides by 2. So you have 2y minus 24 equals, and if you expand the bracket here, the 25 is still there. So 25x minus 25 times 4 is 100. And now we want to express it. I like to keep the x term positive, so I'll put 25x. And this is going to be minus 2y. You can have negative 100 plus 24. 
which is negative 76 equals 0. So you end up with 25x minus 2y minus 76 equals 0. And that is the equation of our line, which is the tangent to the curve at P. Okay, so there's part A done. Pretty simple stuff there. And part B, okay, it says the curve with the equation y equals f of x also passes through the point P for 12. And given that f dash of x is a quarter x cubed minus 8x to the power of a half minus a half, find f of x giving the coefficients in simplest form. So now we have this curve given to us, or this, we haven't got the curve given to us, y equals f of x is a curve. But we have been given y equals f dash of x. So we've been given the, the, the gradient function. So for us to find the original function, we have to integrate this. So f of x will be what we get when we integrate f dash of x with respect to x. Okay, so we got to integrate this. Integrate a quarter x cubed minus 8x to the power of negative a half with respect to x. Now, if we do this, what we need to do here is, we have to remember what we need to do is to um, add one to the power and divide by the new power. In this case, again, everything's ready for integration. We don't have to do anything to prepare it. It's already in the form needed with the x terms on the numerator and everything in index form. So what we do is we take this and we add one to the power. So I have a quarter, and you can think of it as times x to the power of four divided by four minus 8x to the power of a half divided by a half. So you add one to the power, divide by the new power, and don't forget the plus c. So this is what f of x is going to equal. So let's simplify this. f of x equals x to the power of 4 over 16. And this is going to be 8 divided by a half is 8 times 2, which is minus 16x to the power of a half plus c. Okay, now we need to find what c is. Now we know it goes to the point p, which is 4, 12, was it? Yeah. So we can use this point to find what c is, right? So we have f of x equals, let me write it in a way that's friendly for substitution of values in, so that's the square root of x plus c. Okay, so we added one to the power, yeah. So now we're going to replace the x with 4 and the y with 12. The y, f of x is the y. So we're going to have 12 equals, we're going to have 4 to the power of 4 over 16 minus 16 times the square root of 4 plus c. Now this is like 12 equals 4 to the power of 4 over 4 squared. So two of them will cancel. Minus 16 times 2 plus c. So we're left with 16 minus 32. So 12 equals 16 minus 32 plus c. So 12 equals negative 16 plus c, therefore c is equal to 12 plus 16, which is 28. So now we can have our equation as f of x equals x to the power of 4 over 16. We can say 1 over 16 x to the power of 4 minus 16 x to the power of a half plus 28. That is the equation of the curve y equals f of x. Okay, so we have now answer this question we could if we wanted to okay we could have written this if we wanted to also as f of x equals 1 over 16 x to the power of 4 minus 16 times the square root of x plus 28 both of those are perfectly fine in either way for you to write them you can write them in both ways that's both of them are fine and that concludes this question number eight from the June 2023 International A-Level Pure Mathematics P1 paper. Um, part A was integration differentiation, part B was integration. I'll save them in two different playlists. Um, I should have maybe, maybe made two videos, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. So that concludes this question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions involving differentiation from P1 in the playlist over there. Those involving uh, integration from P1 in the playlist over here, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.